Yo guys, what is up? ASIC here with another video. For today's video guys, we have the new update uh, patch notes 160.0 and also guys, we have some more information about the hero models. So the heroes will look a little bit different and also this is the event calendar for the month April. So let's go right into it as you see in the picture. First of all, we are starting with Tinted Marriage. So Tinted Marriage starts on April the 9th. Also the Encroaching Fear, Dark Ritual and also Realm of Legends and as the Group Buying. So those are starting at April the 9th, guys. Sorry, so they are starting at April the 9th, guys. And yeah, this is when the update comes out on Friday, which we also go ahead and read through the patch notes. So next one is the legendary skin event. So there is a legendary skin and you guys maybe know who it is. It is Alice, guys. So Alice will get a legendary skin now and this will come out on April the 12th. So also tomorrow will be available on the test server and we're definitely going ahead and watching the skin on the test server account to show you guys how she is looking and what can she do with her legendary skin guys. So I don't know about uh, the legendary skin which new function is in it but I read something that it will glow. So the uh, symbol of the hero or the hero emblem will glow like in every color but Unfortunately, I haven't saved it. Maybe we can see it in the patch notes. I'm not sure if it was there where I read it, but yeah. Let's go to the double dungeon drop, guys. So let's save your nightmare coins since double dungeon drop is also coming out. And it will last for at least seven to 10 days or more. This means you can get a lot of nightmare coins. And not only nightmare coins, you will get double the reward on the labyrinth. Next one again is the Starfall Eve on April the 23rd, Realm of Legends 2. So on this Realm of Legends, guys, you can get the artifacts to star them up. And not only use them by one hero, but you can use the artifact then on multiple heroes. Again, we have a skin shop on April the 26th and Endless Darkness coming back on April the 3rd. Why not the 3rd? The 13th. So... Let's have a quick look where it is. Next one, we have them right over here. Patch 160 and 0 is, expe is expected to arrive at the test server on April 9th. Oh, oh. Wait, they told us. Okay, never mind. It's the April the 12th on normal server. This is when Alice comes out, but on the 9th of April so tomorrow we will see Ally skin on the test server too so let's go into it but guys still the uh, end no not the tinted marriage will come out tomorrow heroes the land of dawn first a legendary skin pale knight Alice make its debut legendary skins possesses the following characteristics the highest quality animated hero portraits Exclusive forms and special effects for the battlefield, unique and magnificent ultimate animations, legendary exclusive hero card styles. Heroes equipped with legendary skins have shining custom effects when seen in the hero info page. Head to events and try out the Dreamland game mode to win the limited legendary skin. Not to be missed, this event requires you to have unlocked the library. <coughs> So when I see this, guys, it means Alice will be free. So the skin, the legendary skin, will be free since you can win it. I think this is awesome since we get a legendary skin for free. Let's go into the next one, guys. New features added the dark side of the moon stage to Legends Revoid unlocked after clearing campaign 4120. Added the reset function to Starlight Pass, Dungeon Pass and Fortuna Pass. Once you've claimed all the rewards, you can reset your pass manually to get to the next pass even quicker. Added the close-up button to the library, especially for the legendary skins page. Here you can customize the rules for ultimate animations for each skin. <clears throat> 
added a new legendary skin series medal to the medal wall. Legendary looks pale knight. So I think we will just uh, we will have just more than one legendary skin since there will be a new legendary side. The level cap for Gallery of Valor has been increased to 130, that of class statues to 120, and that of class skills from 6 to 8. Okay, well, this is hard to get, but not if you pay a lot, but yeah, that's fine though. Added transition animations when switching from various pages to city, suburb, and campaign. Improved interactive actions in the metal wall improved the quality of various in-game sound effects. So this is it for the uh, new pass. And now guys, we also have, by the way, credits to ML Adventure link on Instagram. We have some new skins, or not, no, sorry, not skins, it's a new model art. So they revamp, not revamp, they, they give the heroes a, another look. So, for example, but this one is a new uh, survey, it is for Salon, and I'm honest, I love this one, I love D, man, I love that tattoo, it's the long man with this water spear, and also the left one is kind of like Aquaman, I don't know, but overall those look good, but only in my opinion the two on the bottom, I like the two on the bottom, those on the top, I do not like too much. Let's go to the next one. So this is how Akashic will or maybe would look like in the next updates. I'm not sure. I hope they leave him as he is. Akashic, I don't want him to look like this. This looks way too female in my opinion. The book is a little bit different, but yeah, that's okay though. But his hair, man, I don't know. It's really like a female. Next one is Alice. So Alice will look like this most likely in the next one. They changed a little bit the eyes and the face, but overall, oh, by the way, of course, the boobies are also getting bigger and will getting shown more, <laughs> but yeah. Next one, we have Estes, and I like this one. I really do enjoy this one. He looks way more badass than before. Before, he looks like an old man who's like a wise guy, but this one is a young, fresh, Estes. All right, let's go to the next one and Valor. I don't like it. The one before was way, way better, but yeah. To be honest, I don't like this too much, but it's okay. <coughs> next one, we have Lolita and I don't know, they, they kind of do them like more childish. Look at Lolita, man. She looks like a cute little teenager with a freaking big hammer and I don't know I this one is okayish though but it's looking way too childish and let's go to the next one we have Char they also done a little bit to the face more like realistic way I don't know but I think before it was okay this one as I said guys this looks like a 23 year old Char but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? I, I like it, but it's not too good. They could have left her the way she is. And the last one, we have Nena. And yeah, again, it's a childish little girl. But yeah, if you like it, of course, guys, go ahead. And when the skin survey, or not skin survey, when the survey Hebrew art model retype, I don't know what's it called, is coming out. Go ahead and type or choose your hero model, but maybe we also cannot decide between those and they will just do it as they want. But yeah, this is it for the video, guys. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Feel free to like, subscribe, and also leave down a comment below the section. Bye, guys.